All right, we're going to tie one of my absolute favorite um, flies, just for a nostalgic reason um, for me. I just absolutely loved fishing this fly with my grandfather um, when we were... When I was a kid, we um, did a lot of lake fishing um, and a lot of lakes that had a, a great damsel population um, in it. And uh, this was just one of our favorite flies to fish. Very simple to tie, so when I learned how to tie flies, this was one I cranked out um, all the time uh, because we used them a lot and it was just a lot of fun to fish and um, just a great all-around damsel pattern. So it's very simple to tie. Um, what we're looking for is um, I'm using Marabou, uh, Marabou Strung Blood Quill in a uh, golden olive. And you can match this, obviously, to uh, to your water. Um, I like a, a damsel green, a golden olive, a, uh, a darker olive, and then also just a uh, kind of a tannish color um, for damsels. Um, but just a just an awesome little little pattern. So this is a size 10, straight eye. Um, you can use whatever hook you'd like. I just like it having straight eye for the way that they swim. Um, and uh, it's going to be, this is a uh, stimmy hook from from uh, MFC, or you can use a 200R from, uh, from TMCO. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a, a plume and I'll tear off some fibers. on the on the side here and and it's really easy to overdress this fly so what we want to make sure that we do is is keep this nice and, and tapered so I put a light olive thread on on the hook um, and I'm just gonna dress the, the shank here okay I'm gonna go down to where I'm hanging just a little bit before the before the the point, okay, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie in my marabou tail. Now, in order to keep an, uh, a nice uh, even underbody, I'm gonna tie this in up here at the front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut those butt ends. Just easy to remember that uh, I I tore these off. This isn't the full the full feather. These are um, fibers that I tore off. And I'm going to wrap this down. And you notice a nice clean underbody. Okay. Now when you get down here to the to the back side, all you're going to do is just pinch and you're just going to tear these feathers. We don't ever want to cut feathers, but we can tear them to length. What that does gives me a nice um, wispy tail that's going to kick and move in the water. Okay, and then I just usually make sure that there's no extra, that it's a nice shape that I like, and then I'll put a couple wraps just underneath the tail. Kind of kicks it up a little bit, lets it swim a little bit more naturally. I'm going to take some, uh, some copper wire. This is a size brassy. And uh, I'm just going to tie this in at the front and work it back down. Everything we want here is a nice even even body. I'm just going to take a, a little bit of a wire off here. Tie that in, keeping it on the, the bottom underside of the, of the hook. Okay. Go back to our, our marabou plume. And you want one with a with a decent amount of length to it, um, just because we're gonna wrap this forward and you don't need a ton of um, you don't need a ton of space to accomplish, but the longer the easier it is to to handle the marabou. Okay, so I'm gonna take the tips here. I'm just going to cut them off so I have a little bit of an easier time tying this in. I'm just going to tie this in at the at the back here. Bring my my thread forward, and then I'm just going to stroke these forward. And what this is going to do is give me a nice bushy but slim underbody. 
And those fibers from that marabou are going to sit there and just kick up. And if you got any that are starting to get matted down, just make sure that if you lose one too, that's okay. You can either wrap it back forward or just snip it off. When you get up here to the to the front, all we're gonna do is just capture this with a, a couple wraps of, of thread. And then we're gonna take our, our wire and I'm gonna counter rib. Nice and even. Now I know uh, the the pattern that you see in in uh, Randall Kaufman's Nymph book for this puts a little bit of crystal flash in the in the front. Um, that's a great idea, but I've I've never had the the need to put some crystal flash in the front on mine. It fishes just great, being a little bit more natural imitation to it. So um, I usually just keep them just like this. So we'll helicopter that off, and then. All this is, I'm just going to build up a little bit of a of a head here in the front. And that kind of pushes those fibers backwards a little bit. And then I'm going to take about halfway up the body, and I'm just going to tear. Like I said, we don't ever cut feathers, otherwise you get um, a real clean cut. This will give a little bit of a raggedy look to it. Um, and then we'll go ahead and and whip finish. Put a little bit of UV here on the front just to protect those thread wraps because they go nuts over this thing. That's all it is. It's just a uh, marabou damsel is what, what we call it. And it's a, it's a great little pattern. You can throw a couple of little strands of crystal flash in the tail and a couple extra in the wing if you want. Um, but overall, it's just, it's a, it's a wonderful classic pattern. Um, it's been a great lake fishing pattern and uh, it works just as well today as it, as it has when I was a kid and, and fished with my grandpa um, up on the up on the lakes. So um, tie some up, you won't be uh, disappointed. Um, just a just a fun little classic fly, easy tie, especially if you've got you've got kids or or uh, beginning tires, or um, if you're a beginning tire yourself, these are really easy to to put together a lake box. Um, also works well for for some warm water species as well. So anywhere you got damsels. So tie some up. Thanks. Regal Engineering, makers of the finest fly tying vices and accessories. Find more information at RockyMountainFlyDesign.com.